Welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at market site is Stephen DeWettering. He is the CEO and founder of Impaxis Data Management. We're going to focus on outsourcing for this segment. Stephen, thank you very much for joining us at market site today. Let's talk about some of the challenges that you see with investment firms. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that are going on today. There's fee compression happening in the market. It's a tight labor market. Um, it's it's the work is more complicated. It's very technical now. Where before it used to be very simple. You could have a lot of different people. Any, anybody could really do the work. So it's very challenging for investment advisors these days to uh, manage their own operation. Right. When they really should be focusing on the investments themselves. Exactly. It seems like exactly. the back office is really the forefront That's right. of what investment management firms are worrying about. So how can outsourcing play a role as a solution for these challenges? Yeah. Uh, so it really, just like you said, it enables them to focus on their core competency. Um, you know, the, aside from that, there's uh, potential cost savings in, um, involving an outsourcing partner. There's uh, a way to mitigate key man risk. If you're a smaller firm and maybe there's only a few people that are good in the operation, you know, people leave, they go on vacation, what have you, it's very difficult to uh, sort of keep things rowing, keep, thing, keep the trains running on time. So uh, there's lots of benefits to uh, using an outsourcing provider. Now, how does it work when you transfer your operations over to a third party, and then can you still maintain the same kind of control? Absolutely. So the way that we work, and a lot of firms work this way, is we'll connect people right into their environment. So in essence, the investment manager is controlling all the work anyway. It's just you have a bunch of remote employees that are specialists in the work doing the, doing the job. So you have complete um, transparency into the data and what you're working on. Uh, and you know, we, we, we work with our clients on coming up with audit, uh, audit reports and different controls that they want to see so they, they know exactly what we're doing. So now that since GDPR has been implemented and cybersecurity, uh, data and privacy are really at the forefront um, of every investment management firm, what measures do back office operations outsourcing take to protect that and be compliant with GDPR? Sure. So uh, there's a lot of very basic technical controls that you can put in place, you know, the firewalls and the... Um, uh, you know, passwords and those sort of basic things that pretty much everybody does. Lately, though, there is uh, the, way, the way that you, there's just a lot of attacks coming over email, phishing attacks. So we spend a lot of time training our people on social engineering, looking for emails that um, sound like they're from a friend or somebody you know so that uh, they're not going out and accidentally clicking on uh, a link in there and, you know, exposing our clients' information. Uh, so social engineering, I would say, right now is, is really important as part of that. Um, aside from that, you know, there's just the requirements around GDPR, making sure people know how their information is used. Those are very basic things that uh, you can let your clients know exactly how that information is being used. But what about trust between the third party and the company itself? I would imagine that's really important as well. A absolutely. Because, I mean, they, they see everything that you see internally. That's, that's right. That's right. So, um, so most outsourcing firms have a, a third party go in and do an audit of their environment. So this is someone like Ernst & Young or someone like that that's going in to uh, uh, do a, a report on the controls that are in place. This is SSAE 16 report as a, for an example. And basically we share that with our clients so they know exactly what kind of controls you have in place around the information, how you're using it. Um, who has access to what and what have you. Got it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Stephen, for joining us at MarketSite. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.